It's so exciting to be here today, and I'm delighted that our Nevada Attorney General, Catherine uh, Cortez Masto, is here with us, and our partners from local HUD office, as David introduced, and our other guests at the Financial Guidance Center, to announce an initiative, of course, that is benefiting and going to be benefit residents from around the state. When our community was hit with the housing crisis and all of these foreclosures, the city took a lead role going back to 2008 to help our community rebound. It was an extremely difficult time and we did go round in circles a great deal, but we knew we had to do something immediately because we led the nation in foreclosures. In 2008, the city created the 229 Home Helpline to ass assist distressed homeowners. We had meetings in our different wards trying to assist and provide guidance to those who were caught in the crisis. In 2010, we partnered with Fannie Mae to launch our own foreclosure, foreclosure prevention website, which has been very successful and remains open. Most recently, we teamed with the wonderful Wells Fargo Bank to offer our Neighborhood Lift Program, a down payment assistance program for citizens looking to purchase, in our city of Las Vegas, purchase homes and first time home buyers, regardless of whether or not they were Wells Fargo bankers. And today I'm happy to announce we're taking our efforts to a new level and a better level by partnering with our Attorney General's office and contributing $100,000 in housing and urban development grant funds to promote a true, a true, free, one-stop shop, home again, that makes it easier for our homeowners in Nevada to determine what state and federal funds and assistance may be available to them. We, what I really love about the program is the efforts that are being made to help with credit restoration. So many of our, our homeowners that have gone through this crisis time have really taken it in the gut with their credit. Uh, credit efforts and credit references. And so for them to go out and buy a car after they've lost a home, we continue to work on this and home again and this connection will continue to make that effort to help our current potential homeowners. The city is committed to doing whatever it can to help restore our families and to get people back on their feet and in homes. And by teaming up with the Attorney General's Office of the State, we certainly are going to have a much bigger impact and can move much, much larger mountains than we've been doing. So I'm so proud here today to be standing in our wonderful People's Hall at the city of Las Vegas, but to have with us our wonderful Attorney General, Catherine Cortez Masto, and I would like her to say a few words about this wonderful and huge effort, and we will go from there. So thank you, Attorney General. Thank you so much, Mayor Goodman. This is, uh, this is exciting for us. Uh, as you can see, um, the crisis has hit so many areas in our state, and so many people have been trying and working hard to address this issue. City of Las Vegas is not foreign to this issue, and I applaud them for everything that they've done to help the homeowners in this community. It's just been phenomenal. And so I want to thank Mayor Goodman. I want to thank HUD for their support of this critical program that we put together here in Nevada to help homeowners. Um, our key partnership with the city of Las Vegas will help more Nevadans get back on their feet after this devastating housing crisis that we have seen. Whether working towards home ownership or seeking to restore their credit, Home Again is serving Nevadans and it is making a real difference. Since launching the new infrastructure, more than 10,000 Nevadans have contacted Home Again via the phone or by email. Nearly 3,000 have already attended one-on-one -on -one counseling sessions, and more, many more have scheduled appointments, and we expect this number to continue to rise. That is the power of collaborative partnership. That is the key for us to really address the problems and find solutions to help them, helping homeowners in this state. Several HUD approved counseling agencies and legal aid are helping Las Vegas rebound as part of this Home Again program. 
Together, we are working to provide a one-stop resource, as the mayor has said, to all Nevadans. Why is this important? Because I will tell you, as the attorney general who handles mortgage fraud in this state, we are still seeing vulnerable people who are reaching out for that last lifeline to seek assistance with their home and being defrauded by individuals who prey on them, who claim that they can still help them save their home. So by creating this one-stop shop, to help homeowners with counselors who are, are trained in understanding the needs of these homeowners and willing and wanting to sit with them, we are putting these homeowners into a free service so that hopefully they don't become victims of those who want to defraud them and take advantage of them. And I won't see them coming through my other door, which is the criminal door, where we're actually helping these victims, unfortunately, who have been um, victimized by, by these perpetrators. But, the city's contribution of $100,000 in HUD grant funds to Home Again will help with outdoor advertising of the program. We know this is important. This will ensure more Nevadans learn about our invaluable program. Clearly, to get a word out there, to get information out there is the most important thing. People need to know that there is this one-stop service for free, and this will help promote the Home Again program. I also want to take this opportunity to remind Nevadans that if they believe they are a victim of mortgage or foreclosure fraud, that they can submit a complaint um, in my office or online at ag.nv.gov. And so, once again, thank you so much to the City of Las Vegas for everything you've done, but for contributing, uh, constantly contributing and helping us address this issue uh, and protecting our homeowners in the state. And thank you to HUD as well. You've been a fabulous partner and we'll continue the collaboration. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, when I walked up here, I was ready to talk to HUD talk and all these things. And then I met Lola, and she's, the first thing she said to me is, I'm nobody. And I thought, how crazy is that? The only reason that we're all here is because of, her, because of the people that we really want to help. And that we know, um, I, you know, even though we were experiencing some fairly significant increases in home values, we're still four, over 47% below the value of a house that was bought in 2006. So there's a lot of people out there that still need assistance. And there's still a lot of misinformation, as the Attorney General said, that doesn't get to people. And, then, and if, they're not, if you're not informed, you can't make good informed decisions. So that's really critical. So thank you to the Financial Guidance Center for all the work they do. We fund a number of these um, housing counseling agencies. They're free to people, and they really are working in the interest of the person, not in any other interest. Thank you to the city of Las Vegas. Uh, they've always been a tremendous leader in this effort since the beginning. They've come to our office and said, what can we do? How, do we, how can we do this? And even this money, they asked to move it around. It was for another purpose. They asked to move it around so that it could be for this good purpose. And we said, absolutely. The Attorney General, I've worked with a number of Attorney Generals in a number of states, and I can tell you we're very lucky to have the Attorney General passed up. She really tirelessly works to not only on the criminal side, as she said, on the enforcement side, but she also works on the side that typically they don't, which is the information side, to help people so that they don't have to be um, a victim of a terrible uh, crime that, that is committed when you commit mortgage fraud when you take somebody's house or you take their money in, in their most desperate set of circumstances. So thank everybody very much. We're very proud to be part of this. And Lola, this is all for you. Doing these days is house cleaning. You see, these people have given me a house to clean. That may seem very unimportant to, to a lot of people, but as all of these people go to work and they do these programs and they build the programs. They don't know about the people like myself who are so desperate to look because they're losing their home. I had worked with my loan uh, uh, my, to try to get something done with my loan for about three and a half years. It wasn't that I was just sitting still. At one point, I called my loan people 28 straight days just to see if they'd gotten my paperwork, and I couldn't get a phone call back. I got the telephone call from someone who said that they would give me 
uh, could work with me if I would write them a check for $4,500. I called home again and I got the, uh, was, was told to call Carolyn McGill. Carolyn McGill um, set up an appointment for me. It was difficult for me to go into an office and talk about finances with, and, and let her know my problem. I, I thought I could do this on my own. She was so professional. She made me feel um, like I had done all the right things, but she was going to take, help me create all of the things and get it all put together for me. She sat down with me and we put paperwork together. We were together for about 45 minutes. That's all the time it took. I went home and put, got together 95 pages of information, faxed it over to my home loan people, and in 37 days, I got a telephone call. They reduced my loan to a 2% loan. And they wrote down $37,000 off from my loan. Do you think I'm happy to house clean today? You bet it. You, you cannot believe. Uh, when you go to work each day, all of these people, and they talk about people who are in need. They're not talking about maybe the homeless people or the people who, who just um, can't, don't, have, don't have the education to do it. I had all of those things. But because of life circumstances when this market fell, I almost didn't have a roof over my head. I can't say thank you enough. You have given me hope, and more importantly, you've given me my life back. And for all of the people who come through this program, sing hallelujah. There's nothing better. Thank you. Right here on, uh, on the podium, the mayor is going to Sign that. You guys are welcome to, uh, you, you vote a vote. You want to come up here and get a shot? I want to make sure that everybody yeah. sees legitimately here it is. that it's not signed. <laughs> here, why don't you come around right here? Oh, well, because I've got terrible All writing. Right, well, and All right, well, if you guys want to get this, you better come down here then. How big shall I do this? <laughs> biggest deal, and forever we were having people call one day and speak to one person, the next day someone else. And now we have these trained professionals all the time, and nothing happens, do we have a day, nothing happens without a team. This could not have happened without the city neighborhood services, who have worked diligently day in and day out for the past, since 2008, I can tell you for sure, and probably before that, but this is the most fulfilling time for all of us here in City Hall, I can assure you. Everybody is just so thrilled to be part of this check. There it which is. Now, so we're, for, how do you want to see do this right day? Here, do I, right here, right here, yeah, let's we'll get a shot of the mayor. Why don't you guys, Catherine, why don't you get on one side, the mayor on the other, Councilman in there as well, there it is. And then fantastic. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you, and thank you to Legal Aid as well, as you mentioned. I mean, what a, what a wonderful job they've been doing for us as well. But you really take the top off this. Home again is, is home, and it's going to happen, and they are working diligently all the time to make sure and working hard for credit restoration. This is a really proud moment for me here in the city of Las Vegas today. Uh, Ward 6, kind of being one of the epicenters of this housing crisis for, for several years now, um, the city of Las Vegas is really taking uh, the, the reins early to help residents restore their lives. As the mayor mentioned, the city has done a tremendous job offering free resources for our residents by hit, hit by the housing downturn with our um, with our, our, our own programs here in the city of Las Vegas. Home Again program is a continuation of those efforts. And I understand 
the city of North Las Vegas is considering some type of eminent domain to solve their problem in regards to their, their issues, and I think that's a disaster waiting to happen. We want to make it easy as possible for people to find resources that they need. We say that again, free resources that they need. So if we can send them to one website, and the city's grant funds can help drive that message home by using these advertisements, then I think we've done our job, and I don't think we're going to stop there. Ward 6 has been affected greatly by the housing downturn, but we are rebounding. Our community is thriving, and we're seeing new residents move into our community every single day. Home Again is a great resource in helping more families experience the benefit of home ownership and help those who need to rebuild their credit as this one-stop shop can. I want to thank everyone at the City of Las Vegas for their support in our mission, especially Stephen Harson and Dr. Lisa Moore Skibler for all of their efforts. They lead a wonderful team that was dedicated to improving the lives of our citizens here in the City of Las Vegas. One person who's been working with our residents in the city's program to rebuild their lives is the always incredible Michelle Johnson um, from the Financial Guidance Center, and I'd like to ask her to say a few words. But partnerships such as this do exemplify the benefit to Nevadans when forces unite and increase exponentially the benefit of programs such as Home Again. And though there is improvement in the housing market in Nevada, the crisis is not over. Realty Track reported an 88% increase in foreclosure starts in Nevada in the first quarter of 2013, an 18-month high. 24-7 Wall Street reported on May 9th that in some states, such as Nevada, the housing problems remain at epidemic levels. They also stated that in Nevada, the improvement is pitiful. These statistics simply prove the need for partnerships to provide a viable resource, a safe resource, a resource with no fees for Nevadans. And Nevadans are reaching out, as General Masso pointed out, over 10,000 phone calls and emails um, from our community members. And I pulled just a couple of statistics that are relevant today. Based on the color zip code, which I know is not a, a, a fine science because of the, the, the bleed over in legal boundaries, but of the total calls received, nearly 17% were from the city of Las Vegas residents. And of those calls, nearly 28%, 27.8% were from Ward 6. Um, again, strengthening what we all live every day, that we know the problem has not gone away. When we target outreach to those areas, those numbers are only going to increase and we'll be able to help more homeowners. Um, Home Again is a partnership of HUD-approved housing counseling agencies and legal service providers throughout Nevada. And I really want to sincerely thank Mayor Goodman.